Hi, this is Bauer, and I'm about to share with you something really cool. And, uh, well, let me start by saying how I found out about doing this. I've been trying to figure out a way to make pictures talk. And I'm talking like, let's say, um, say a regular picture that you see, like on here or something like that. That picture there. Oh, nope, wrong one. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, like that picture right there. I've been trying to figure out how to make pictures like this seem more animated and stuff. So I went on the internet and I did searches on it. And there is uh, tools and stuff that you can get. Things like uh, I can't name any at the moment. But there are things like tools and all kinds of crap out there that you gotta pay for it, that you have to pay to get. And there's free samples and stuff, but you know, and they're all so great and all. But there's a way you can do the animated picture thing for free. So, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And with this, you will be making your pictures talk and blink. Now, I admit, I can't make pictures, you know, move their heads and stuff to make them seem more lifelike, but I, I can show you how to make your pictures talk and blink. First, you start by finding you the picture you'd like to animate, like, usually you go right there and your pictures. But, we're going to go into the E disk, because that's where our, most of my pictures are located. And, um... Let me see if we can find a really good picture here. Now you have to save basically three pictures. Let's see if you'll notice I've got three different pictures here of my sister first. And you will be, ha you will have three pictures. One will be the original, one will be for blinking the eyes, and one will be for mouth movement. So, remember that. And I'm going to well, I tell you what, we're going to use that picture of Crystal. She is my sister. Okay. Yeah, because see her, this picture of my sister is really good to use because it's got her entire face. And it's a clear picture, of course. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to right click on the picture you want. And you scroll on down here and go to open with. And click on paint. Now. That is a perfect close-up, actually. And what you're going to do, go to the mouth area right here, and you're going to go up here where it says Select, click the down button, and go to Freeform Selection. That means you can basically cut any shape you want. And this is going to be for mouth movement. So you're going to concentrate on the lower lip. So we're going to draw around her lower lip, make it absolutely perfect as possible. I mean, I'm not going to say that it has to be 100% perfect, but just try your best if you can to draw a perfect line around the lower lip area. And then you take that, click and hold, and drag the lower lip down a ways. Like that. So if we're trying to create, see, as you can tell, we're trying to make this mouth move up and down. There. Well, maybe just a little lower. There we go. Okay, and then you come up here to the paint pan where it says fill with color. Click on that. Make sure this here is black color one is got to be black. And then where the white area is of the mouth, click that and darken it in. So now you've just created a mouth movement. Now, go to save as, click JPG or file, but I'm going to click that. And I'm going to save this in my pictures. And as you can tell, I've already done, done my sister's picture because I'm working on a project for her picture. 
So since I got this, we're going to make her initial G C P. There. Now, what you're going to do next is you're going to undo this twice, and you have to do it. So go up here where it says undo, or you can click push C T R L D. Click it twice. One, two. There. Now, and the reason for that is you're going to save this picture again. So save it. PG. I'm going to title it that. I'll put a number two beside it. And the reason I'm telling you to do that is what you're going to do next is find the picture that uh, is the normal picture, that one right there. And you're going to go up here at Edit, Organize, or Share. That is if you've got Windows 7. Now, we want this picture right here. So double click. Then what you're going to do is up here you'll see Retouch. Now what we're going to do is zoom in a little bit on Crystal's face. So you go down here and click Zoom, or you can just, you know, push the plus button on your keypad there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and kind of drag her face down because we're going to concentrate on the eyes. This is how we're going to create the blinking. So normal pictures, everybody's eyes are always open half the time. And what we're going to do is create the blinking motion. So click retouch and create this big giant Square over the eyes. The, now, sometimes you have to do this a couple of times. And I say, I just don't want to do it for me today. <laughs> Usually I, I get lucky with just once. Let's try the other eye. Well, it's, uh, sometimes I get lucky once and sometimes I don't. It just depends. But like I said, sometimes you got to retouch it a couple of times. And sometimes I, if I don't do it, I go to paint. I just retouch it there. But today, I just don't want to do it for me. Oh, come on now. I just don't want to do it for me. Okay, I basically figured it out. Uh, the problem is, sometimes, like I said, I get lucky and sometimes I don't. But, the thing of it is, sometimes when you're doing this, you got to sometimes go slow. So just start at the corner of the eye and create a small box. Basically, retouch it until you get this smear-like thing on the eye. And sometimes doing it slow helps. What you're trying to do is basically cover the eye so it matches the skin color. There it goes. Okay, we got it. <laughs> like I said, sometimes you got to do it a couple of times in order to do it right. There. That looks good. Okay. And then you go to the other eye, and you do the same thing. Do it slow. And you just keep doing it until you get the eye completely covered the same color as the skin. See? And at first, I admit, it's going to look very weird, because when I first done this, I started laughing, thinking this is not going to work. And to my surprise, it did. <laughs> Shocking, but it did. And you'll see in a minute, so. Cover the entire eye until it looks uh, the way you want it to. And I think it looks good. And I admit, yes, it looks weird. <laughs> at first, it will but it'll start looking a little better once you see what this will do. Okay, after you do that, you exit off that, and uh, then you go to the picture itself again, and usually it's time best to have... Okay, here it is. This is the original picture. See, nothing done to it, no touches, no nothing. And I'm going to send it to, uh, well, you can either send it to documents, but the quicker way to do it is to drag it over here to pictures. 
And there we go. I got three different pictures of Christmas. Now, here's what we're going to do. Go into and then you're going to add photos. You pick the normal picture first, which is this one. Anyway, here's the normal picture. And then I'm going to add another photo, which is, uh, I guess I'll add the blink. You know, you know, to make this more lifelike, what you're going to do is, now you can either let it stay that about seven, make the duration about seven, which will be okay, but I want to kind of shorten it just a little bit, so we'll make it around, four, just to give you all an idea anyway. Add photos again, and I'm going to add the blank. Like I said, the blink does look funny at first, but you're going to need to see in a minute. <laughs> now, on her blinking, I'm going to shorten the duration of that down to 0 0.09, because a blink happens in a second. So we're going to make that short. Then I'm going to add another one of the normal. And that creates your blink. And this is what it's going to look like. See? See? And you just saw our blank. Let me kind of shorten this up just a little bit. I'm going to make it about uh, try two minutes. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Because okay. uh, you kind of blink a little past Mm, let's make that about 0.25. Maybe shorten that just a little bit. What I usually do is I put 0.25 for all them pictures. And what I'll do, let me drag this over here. That way uh, I'll give you a good idea of how I do it. Just copy. I'm going to paste a couple of the normal pictures. Here's what it would look like. Oops, I forgot to add one right there too, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry about that. Got a couple of the normals there. And uh, maybe add another blank. Oh, let me copy the blank. And we're going to paste it after this one. Copy the normal. Paste it after that. So this is what it's going to look like. See? Looks as if she's really blinking. Like I said, the blinks have to be at least 0 .09. I mean, you can make it lesser than that if you want, but I would advise for 0 .09 because, like I say, 0 .04. And it'll look like this. Here's the difference. So you don't hardly see it at all. Nine. So I advise you to keep it at probably point zero nine if it's a little better. But that's each his own. <laughs> anyway, that's how you create the blink. Now, to create mouth movements, we're going to start from here with the normal picture, and all you do with the mouth movement is you just basically add uh, what you just created. Let me remove that, and I'm going to select these two pictures, and if you want to select a certain amount of pictures, click CTRL and ALT at the same time, and just put the picture you want. Copy, and I'm going to paste it. Paste it again, and this is the entire movie. Oh, sorry, wait a minute. Forgot one thing. I forgot the video direction. I keep We're gonna make a point twenty-five. And when you're creating, like, uh, you know, a mouth movement, you know, you 
got to make it match up with whatever you're making the pitcher say. Like, let's say you're having your pitcher singing a song, so it's your judgment on the duration, because that's entirely up to you, but I'm just giving you a basic example of how to do it. And this is what it'll look like. See? And there's top. And maybe put a... Mm, give me one of the eye blinking. I'll put it right here after that. There we go. See? And that's how you make a movie. with a picture. So I hope I've given you enough information on how to make a picture talk and blink. And that's basically all there is to it. And that's it. If you have any more questions, just let me know and I will answer your questions. I hope I've helped you all out on making a picture actually talk and blink at the same time. Uh, if you want to have blink action while the mouth is open, the same the same applies to it. You just cover the entire eye and then go to the paint thing like I showed you before and just cut the lip around there. Pull it down and do the blacking thing and then save and then take it to the editing thing where I showed you how to do a restore I think or something like that and you just cover the entire eye and that's how you can do it while the mouth is open if you want to do that. That is if you want to get really deep into this. So there's many ways you can do it. So anyway, if you have any more questions, just ask, and I hope I've given you enough information. My name is Valerie Powers with How to Make Your Film, uh, Your Pictures Talk and Blink at the Same Time. Have a good day, and God bless you all.